uh, illuminated signs. Over the past four years plus, there have been over 30 changes to the Oro Valley sign code. By, <clears throat> by what is before the council tonight, it's clear that you're not through. Why and how are so many, have these been, is there a need for as many sign code changes? You look at the proposal code changes for large illuminated window signs, it illustrates a flawed process for changing codes. Staff is recommending that the code council approve more significant larger illuminated window signs. Under the current code, a business allowed one non-flashing small illuminated open closed sign. Closed zoning code, code amendment will allow a six square foot area for illuminated signs near a front door. The area contain more than one sign, no, one restri no restriction on content. For example, a restaurant could have several signs, each promoting a different brand of beer or one brand of beer for the entire six square feet. Contrary to Mr. Caton's comments, based on my record request, there is no documented demand from the business community for the bigger or more illuminated area window signs. According to Mr. Adler, the Arizona Sign Association knows of no studies to determine the effectiveness of illuminated window signs. There is no factual or an anecdotal evidence to prove that large illuminated window signs provide information that can't be provided by the si signage already allowed. The size, of illuminated sign the size and illumination of these signs clearly are more intrusive than necessary. Therefore, illuminated signs don't meet the general plan key policy and policy goal 2.1.10 for signage. There is no evidence of, of business need. Therefore, the general plan policy of balancing the needs of the business with the citizens' concern has not been met. Finally, there is no factual or anecdotal evidence that these signs will result in any, in any increased sales tax revenue. Sales tax revenue increases have been a major justification for many of the past sign codes. However, there is no evidence that such sol no sol solid evidence to support this claim. In fact, the town would be awash with sales tax revenue if this was a truism. Since further si stop further sign and light pollution, please honor the guidance that's set forth by the <coughs> citizens in the general plan and the purposes of the sign code. Do not approve the proposed larger illuminated lights. Regarding balloons, from, men, from my record request, I found that in late November 2014, one, one council member was quite embarrassed that staff had informed new business manager that balloons would not be allowed and yet allowed them to remain anyway. Rather than showing leadership, clarifying and supporting town codes, this council member wanted changes enacted. She con emailed Mr. Caton. He responded saying they would recommend to the council that the code be amended as we are adamant about allowing balloons during op grand openings. He also stated his awareness and displeasure with the situation and that appropriate personnel action current, was currently underway. This response clearly demonstrates a failure to protect the quality and character of oral value and a lack of transparency regarding the, the administration of town laws. A second situation occurred in January of this year when a business owner sent an email to the mayor and council complaining that he wasn't allowed to attach balloons to an A-frame. He claimed that he, he, he applauded the council for its 99% of all business effects for, uh, for small business, the good things he did for him, but the 1% <clears> problem <throat> should be addressed. Again, the same council member recommended, responded and told business owner that it would be brought to the town manager's attention. Because the council member was quite adamant, embarrassed and also felt a 1% issue needed to be eliminated, it has been decided that not allowing balloons is a serious shortcoming in our sign code which must be changed. In February this year, the Economic Development Department, in conjunction with the Chamber of Commerce, Commerce was asked to obtain, asked to obtain <coughs> consensus from the business owners about the, si the balloons and if balloons were allowed, how many days would it, was appropriate to have balloons during open houses. This data collected certainly did not identify, identify any needs or effectiveness. The balance between business needs and citizens' concern was never established. To date, my collection, to date was, no date was collected, data was collected from the citizens and no business needs were identified. Thus, the general plan community design key policy issues regarding balancing the needs for additional signage and citizens' concerns has not been met. 
An unlimited number of balloons, whether 8 feet or 15 feet from the ground, does not provide information or, in, or any intent, intended form of direction. It certainly isn't the least intrusive signage possible. This proposal may placate one council member's response to embarrassment, but doesn't serve Oro Valley citizens or preserve an attractive and appealing community environment for Oro Valley. It does increase sign pollution in our town. This proposal should not be approved. It does not meet general plan key policy and policy goals 2.1.10 for signage, though I'm sure, the, as you already heard, the, the staff says it does, and I'm sure Mr. Perry will claim the same. No factual evidence has presented as to the effectiveness or need of balloons. No factual evidence has been presented about how balloons enhance the quality and uniqueness of the town. No anecdotal support can be presented as balloon usage has not been allowed or normally used in Oral Valley. Currently permitted signage such as banners, wall signs, etc., meet the needs of direction and information. Additionally, according to Mr. Adler, the Arizona Sign Association knows of no studies to determine the effectiveness of balloons. It does not comply with Chapter 28.1, A1, A, B, C, D, and E of the sign code. Please honor the guidance set forth by the citizens in the general plan and the purposes of the sign code. Do not approve this use of balloons. Thank you.